So if you're a producer or a singer songwriter, there's probably a DAW that you're comfortable with. It might be Pro Tools, it might be FL Studio, it could be Logic, but there's probably one of them that you've spent a fair amount of time in. And I know that your first stream can be really stressful. So I think it's important that we make as little changes to your setup as possible to get you live. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to stream your audio live from Logic. Now, everything I'll show you will apply to Pro Tools or whatever DAW you're using. But stick around too, because there's a bonus tip at the end that I think might make it easier for some of you. All right, so I am editing this video. Here is my iPad right here. I'm watching my friend Jordan on Twitch right now. And this is usually the part where I tell you, hey, my name's Matt Horton. I stream on Mixer, blah, 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 blah. If you've seen the news, you know that Mixer is no longer gonna be a thing. It shuts down in about a month from now. Uh, and that means that most of us musicians have moved over to Twitch. Uh, I now stream at 7 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash Matt Horton Music. Here's the rest of this video. I'm making this video because one of you reached out to me on Instagram. Jade is a singer and a producer who DM'd me on Instagram asking about her setup. I was able to answer a bunch of her questions, but one of the places that we got stuck was on streaming audio from Logic through OBS. I knew that you could do it, but I'd personally never had a reason to do that before. So I told her that I would look it up and make a video about it. And this is that video. So thanks Jade for reaching out. You all should go check out Jade's new single. I'll link it in the description below. If there are any questions that you all have about music streaming, you can always reach out on Twitter, on Instagram, in the comments, or you can join one of my streams and ask. I'm always looking for ideas for new videos. I keep a running list, and if I already have the idea, just hearing from you means that it might move up in my priority. Just a few assumptions before we get started. You should have a DAW software installed. I'm gonna be focusing on Logic, but all of the tips that I give you should work on any other piece of software. Also, you should already have OBS set up and ready to stream. If you don't, and that's a video that you want me to make, go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me that you wanna hear about that. A couple of you have asked me about this already and I'm thinking about doing it, but one way to bump it up sort of my mental list of videos to make is to get a lot of comments below saying, hey Matt, make the video about how to set OBS up for music streaming. I'm also assuming that you want to monitor what you are playing and that you wanna do that with zero added latency. Adding latency while monitoring really sucks during live performances, you know that. So that's an assumption that I made during this. We could have done this process a few extra ways, but the way that I'm gonna do it will make sure that the audio that you're monitoring is as close to actual live audio as possible. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to existential.audio slash black hole. We're gonna download a program called Black Hole. What Black Hole is, is basically a virtual patch cable. It routes your audio wherever you need it to go. Remember that bonus tip I talked about earlier on? Well, here's a hint. There's a couple of other ways that we could be routing this audio. What you'll do to download Black Hole is you'll enter your name, your email address, and they'll send you a link. When you click that link, it'll bring you here, you'll download. Make sure you close anything that could play audio, including Spotify, Logic, in fact, Chrome itself needs to be closed when you install it, and you'll install. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Audio MIDI Setup. This is gonna show all of your audio devices. You should see Black Hole as an audio device now. It's called Black Hole 16CH, it's a 16 channel audio device. You should also see those built-in devices. Sometimes your built-in output might be called MacBook Pro speakers or Mac mini speakers. We're gonna click this plus button and we're gonna create a new multi-output device. Now this does what it says it's gonna do. It creates a new device that has multiple outputs. And in our case, those outputs are gonna be our interface and black hole. My interface is called the Apogee One V2. So that's already checked. All that I need to do is check black hole 16 channel and check drift correction next to black hole 16 channel. If your interface shows up in this list after black hole 16 channel, go ahead and uncheck black hole 16 channel and then recheck it. 
All right, so we are set up. Now all we need to do is choose the right audio devices and the right programs. All right, so we're gonna go over to Logic and we're gonna go over to our preferences into audio and looks like my output device is already set to multi-output device. So you wanna go ahead and set your output device to multi-output device. Your input device should be whatever it normally is. If you're coming in from your interface, you can feel free to do that in the normal system settings and go ahead and let it be the system setting. I like to make sure that I set it properly. So in this case, I'm gonna choose one. Again, that's the name of my interface. Let's hit apply. And just to show that this is working, I have another microphone right here. I have had this microphone for, yikes, like 13 years or something like that. And I can speak right into it and you can see that that monitor is moving there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go over to OBS so that we can get that set up. All right, so I have an empty scene here just so I can show off our audio setup from scratch. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go over to audio and we're gonna click on mic auxiliary audio and we will set that to black hole 16 channel and we'll hit okay. You can see we're already getting audio there. And as I bring this closer to my mouth, we start to get a little bit more. Um, let's take this out of full screen so that we can put Logic and OBS next to each other. All right, let's tap. And let's throw an effect on here. Let's just throw something real crazy. Um, it's just like, and let's start recording. Ah, ah. I am not monitoring this, so I have no idea what it sounds like. This is going to be fun to edit. Now about that bonus tip, we could have done this a couple of other ways. The first is physical patch cables on our mixer or interface. This one's actually kind of difficult to set up and it's why I didn't go about it this way. I wouldn't recommend this route unless analog is really important to you, but there's an easier way. If you have a Scarlett Focusrite 4i4 or better, or if you have another interface with a loopback functionality, then you can do what Black Hole does in your mixer. You can loop the audio from your computer back into your computer and use that loopback input as an input into OBS. All right, y'all, so that is how you live stream your audio from Logic through OBS on your Mac. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, please subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. I hope that these techniques work for you, that they level up your live stream and that you learned something today. All right, so I'm back again, finishing up this edit. And I just wanted to remind you that I stream now at twitch.tv slash Matt Horton Music. 7 p.m. on Tuesdays, that's Eastern time. I do covers and originals. I also do Twitch Sings, which is this karaoke game that Twitch has made. Um, I've got a bunch of duets over there if you wanna come and duet with me. Uh, here's the final parts of this video. You can always reach out to me at Matt Horton Music on Twitter or Instagram, just like Jade did to get this video made. Thank you again to Jade for asking that question. I really appreciate it. What's next for how to be a music streamer? I'm thinking we might talk about how to set up a song queue for your stream. What do you think? You let me know. I'll talk to y'all next time. <laughs>